In this video tutorial, you will create a mold tooling assembly for a simple part model. And perform several of the necessary steps to complete the assembly. In file, all application, process specific, find and run the mold wizard environment, ok, very good. Also in ribbon bar, application tab, process specific, click on mold, ok, mold wizard environment. First step, in ribbon bar, mold wizard tab, part validation, find and run the check region command. In dialog box, find and click on calculate icon, try to do it and complete the job, ok, it's very good. Now in face tab, keep the draft angle limit to 3 degrees, and then click on set color of all face icon. Then you can check your part region, ok the box, and save the part, ok, it's very good, and close. Now open again, and run the other part, again in mold wizard environment, first, in ribbon bar. Find and run the initialize project command, define your path and name, do it, ok, very good. Change the material to ABS, ok, and in setting, check the project unit, and ok the command. Ok, try to do it and complete the job, now the molding creation project is started, it's very good. Next step, in ribbon bar, main, run the mold csys command, and in current wcs. In graphic window, double click on csys, and then rotate it to desired position, try to do it. And complete the job, change the x and y directions, and Z direction is fixed, click edit insert pocket, and in new dialog box, change the type to 1, very good. And its radius is 10, and apply the box, ok and exit, now you can see the new shape of work pieces. Close the dialog box, and again save all, ok. It's very good. In assembly navigator, right click on current part, and show the part top, and see it in graphic window. Now you can see the inserts work pieces in graphic window, next step, in ribbon bar, main. Find and run the mold base library command, ok. Now in dialog box, select index. Or one of your desired standard catalogs, choose it and apply the command, ok, it's very good. Now you can see the mold base is creating, try to do it and complete the creation mold base. All the mold components is creating in graphic window based on your chosen standard situation. Mode is subtract material, in target. Select standard plates, first do this for only top area of mold, select all of them in target, ok. And then in tool, tool type is component and select all of standard parts, do it and finish the job. And then repeat this action for bottom side of mold. Now in this video tutorial we want to make a complete process of mold design. First and start menu. Mechanical design.
functional molded part, enter to this workbench, first and basic features toolbar, here. Find and run the shellable feature, and now in dialog box, keep the shape definition to prism, and then. Click sketch icon, and select top plane in graphic window, enter to the sketch workbench, and then, first. Create a center rectangle, and with dimensional constraints, make the necessary dimensions to the rectangle. Write the 80 millimeters for each side of rectangle and complete the job. Exit from sketch workbench, in dialog box. Limit tab, keep the length to 20 millimeters, in direction tab. Keep the normal to profile situation, in draft tab. Change the draft behavior, and make 4 degree drawted value for this part, if necessary click reverse icon. Try to do it and complete the drought process, and ok the command, in mold design properties toolbar, here. Find the shell properties command and run it. Select top face as faces to remove, and thickness is 3 mm. OK the command and see the result, in basic feature toolbar, find and run the external feature command. In dialog box, profile, surface, right click and select create sketch, now select top face of body, and now. Enter to the sketch workbench, and then make a new center rectangle, and its dimensions is 90 millimeters, ok. Try to do it and complete the job and then check it out the center rectangle in graphic window, ok, so good. Do it and finish the process and exit, back again to dialog box, prism situation. Change the length to 3 mm. Its direction into the bottom side, if necessary click reverse direction and OK the command, OK, it's so good. Now check the result body in graphic window, run the cavity extraction. And in dialog box, again select the body 1, and OK the command. It's so easy, ok, it's so good. Complete the cavity extraction and then change its color, right click in design tree and, properties, ok. Try to do it and change its color to green, ok, it's so good. Now we have a complete core and cavity, and then in start menu, mechanical design, and here. Enter to the mold tooling design workbench, OK, click and enter to this workbench, it's so good. Complete the job and then in design tree, click on product 1, and then in toolbar. Find and run the create a new mold command, find it and then in dialog box, see the mold dimensions. You can create a custom mold for your process, also you can use the catalog, its icon here, but first. Check it out the mold parameters and graphic window, clamping plate, core and cavity support plates. Core and cavity plates, ejector plates and others. Now in this step. We want to replace the core and cavity bodies, let's start, so easy to use, enjoy it.
In this step we want to add the screw bolt and mold. Let's start. In this step create the leader bushing, let's start. Ok, now mold and cavity design in PTC Creo software. First open your desired file, find it and ok. Now your 3D model is in graphic window. This shell component made by injection mold process. And see it in graphic window and then click new icon and in the list, type is manufacturing. And in subtype, select mold cavity, OK, deactivate the use default template, and change the unit to millimeter, OK and finish it and then, choose your desired name for it, OK the dialog box and set its parameters and now you are in mold cavity environment, OK, so good, first in ribbon. Reference model and workpiece, and reference model, find and run the assemble reference model, and then browse and open the shell component, finish the selection and then insert it to the mold cavity environment. Now similar to assembly mode, make a fixed constraint to this component and fix it. OK the command and then in this dialog box, create reference model, select merge by reference, and OK, again in ribbon, workpiece, run the assemble workpiece command, and find it in the list and select it, window, move and rotate it and with the translation commands change its position and location. Use the constraint to fix it. Use coincident constraint two times, and select the desired datum planes. Try to do it and complete the workpiece movement. Test the constraints more and more and, check all the steps and note that the workpiece is placed on your desired position. Check it out. OK. Complete the movement and make the constraints and finally check the position of component inside the workpiece and finish it. OK, now you must set the pulling direction, as you see, in the graphic window, pulling direction is incorrect, in ribbon. Run the pulling direction command, and now in dialog box, Edit and set the pulling direction like it, OK, try to do it and complete the job, and then, in ribbon, find and run the silhouette curve, it's in design feature area, in dialog box, see the graphic window and you can find this curve that created automatically, OK, check it out and now OK the command. Try to do it and complete the job. OK, it's so good. Next important command is parting surface. In ribbon, parting surface and mold volume area. Run the command and now you are in parting surface environment. In ribbon, surfacing, find and run the extend curve command. This command extend the silhouette curves normal to the pull direction. This command is so important to mold design and cavity process. 
An extension tab. You can select all the silhouette curves chain and then you can see the extended curves. This curves extended to the side wall faces of work piece. Start the job and create this extension surfaces. Check it out in graphic window. And then OK the command and exit from parting surface environment. OK. Now back again to the mold cavity environment, and you can see the parting surface here. Again check it out and then next step, again in ribbon. Find and run the reference part cut out, run it and in dialog box, and reference tab. In workpiece area, select it, and in reference part, select the component. Do it in graphic window when complete the selection. Check the include all check boxes and if necessary active them. OK the command and complete it. And the next command is volume split. Find it in ribbon and run the command. In dialog box and reference tab. In split volume, select the reference part cut out. Do it in graphic window, and in split surface, select the parting surface, complete the selection in graphic window and then, OK the command. And now in model tree, you can see the core and cavity that created separately, volume split 1, and volume 2, check it out and test both of them. Hide the others and see them separately, do it for both of them, ok, enjoy it, it's so good. Also see the velocity vector, it's so important and useful analysis result in injection mold process. Rotate the model and zoom into other sections and in different locations, and see its velocity of melt in each area. Try to do it and complete the test. OK, so good. Also see the volumetric shrinkage and gate contribution. Try to do it and complete the result test. OK, it's so good. Also in XY plot area, see the sprue pressure plot, it's so good. To start the mold design process, click new, and in the list, in assembly, select mold design, and unit is millimeter, OK and enter to the mold design environment. Choose a mold design file name, OK. And define the mold design file location, and complete the job, try to do it and finish the process, and OK. Test it more and more and define the file location completely and carefully and finish it, OK, it's so good. And now you are in mold design environment. You can see this two added tabs, mold layout and mold assembly. First, right click on mold design, and active the prompt for file name option. OK, so good. Now click and run the plastic part command, and insert your 3D part model into the mold environment. OK. Right click. OK and finish the process, complete the job and see it and check it out in graphic window. Now you can see the other commands is active. First click and run the adjust orientation command, OK. Now check the opening direction of mold in graphic window, test this arrows, and also check the colors faces with green colors, and blue colors, for core and cavity.
Check it out completely and accept it, ok. Next is core and cavity design, also you can define the material with this command, ok. Run it and then. In new environment, click on define workpiece setting command, in dialog box, in workpiece type. You can select rectangular or cylinder workpiece, check the default workpiece with red color, ok, so good. Increase the Z total value, change it to 40 millimeters, and ok the command, check it out completely and finish it. Next command is create patching surface. Run it and then click on Auto Detect icon, OK. You can see the core and cavity, cavity is in green color, and core is blue, in body separation slider. Drag and move it and then check the core and cavity completely and see it in graphic window, OK, good. Check it out more and more. Rotate the model again and again and apply the shape of core and cavity. OK the command and now, as you see the core and cavity is created completely, OK, it's so good. Find and run the mold base command, run it and in dialog box, here. In standard, you can select vendor and type, or change its size here but keep the default, and then, here, placement reference icon, click, and in graphic window, select this point, and see the mold base and preview, check it out more and more in graphic window, now click on this arrow here, and in this list, here, you can see all component of your mold, Check it out completely and OK the dialog box, OK, it's so good. Try to do it and complete the job and test the mold base more and more in graphic window, OK, it's so good. Test it more and more, mold base and all other components is created here, and you can see it. Find it and run the command and in dialog box. In parameters, change the length to 56 mm, and now in offset, change it to 20 mm negative, OK. Check the position of sprue bushing in dialog box and then, use the view cube, go to the top view. And then in dialog box, in placement, click on point icon and in graphic window, find the runner place. And select this point, in runner and gate position, select this point and complete the job, ok, so good. Ok the command and now, as you see the sprue bushing is creating, try to do it and finish the job, ok. And now, Check the sprue bushing on your mold base assembly and graphic window, do it yourself and now. We want to create 2D drawing from this mold, first save the document, yes to all, and ok the command. Now all components must be saved on your desired location on your system.